uh, Allianz PNB Life, uh, we secure your future as our purpose. And I, I just wanted to share a little bit about the organization that I represent first. Um, our company uh, is, is a member of the Allianz Group. And um, if unfamiliar to you, Allianz is uh, an organization with more than 150,000 employees worldwide. I have been uh, with Allianz um, for close to, to two decades. And it's been a great privilege getting to meet and work in, in different countries. Uh, as you see there, we have, um, we have operations in, in more than 70. In fiscal year 2021, again, Allianz being a global organization, uh, we achieved total revenues of 148 uh, billion euros. And we also have an asset management firm um, to complete our operations. Uh, the 155,000 employees are all over the world, and um, we do have quite the presence in the Asia-Pacific region. Uh, as you see there, uh, it makes up around 13% of, of the group. Uh, we still have a very strong presence, of course, in Germany, which is our, uh, where our head office is based. Uh, Allianz is um, headquartered in, in Munich, but was actually founded in Berlin. Uh, you might be familiar to those of you who follow sports. Um, uh, of the Allianz Arena, uh, which is uh, one of the different stadiums that we have uh, the world over. I have had the privilege of working in the Allianz head office, and as mentioned, um, it, it's something really to, to um, be extremely proud of, and it's a joy to work with, um, with uh, colleagues from, from, various, uh, from various countries. We are also the number one insurance brand. Um, as a marketing professional, this is something I'm extremely proud of. Allianz uh, made it to uh, the Interbrands um, Global uh, Brands Ranking once again as the number one in insurance brand um, with a value of 15.2 billion. And uh, last year had a, had a good growth of 18%. Something we're very excited about, it is World Cup season, of course, uh, but Allianz aspires to be an insurer of sport. And uh, we look forward to, to the next iterations of the Olympics, the next one, of course, happening in, in Paris. Uh, something that um, you may have uh, shared in, in terms of my responsibilities um, is sustainability. Uh, this is a key component of, of our DNA uh, within the group. Uh, as you may be familiar, there are 17 sustainable development goals, three of which are focused uh, in Allianz, we do have our own initiatives in the Philippines. I'm extremely proud, for example, of our um, financial literacy programs. Um, the deputy commissioner had spoken about the importance of financial literacy, uh, especially in um, a region uh, or in a country, rather, where in contrast to other regional players, um, we, we rank very, um, very low in the totem pole. Uh, this is something extremely important for us. Um, another of our initiatives is youth empowerment, um, something that we're very passionate about. We do have organizations like uh, SOS Children's Village and the World Wildlife Fund uh, as partners in, in this regard. And another one that is um, personally something I, I am quite passionate about, and that is cycling. Uh, I have shared with a number of colleagues and friends or even those that I um, meet up with here in Toronto that it, it's quite amazing how we can now cycle uh, along EDSA and along C5 and sustainable mobility is another one of our key initiatives in the Philippines. But onto the topic um, and you know it's something that we really felt was extremely strong uh, in terms of um, of uh, of how we bridge uh, the insurance gap, which is the key topic of, of this morning's forum. And I'll go straight into that um, with regard to our insights in the market. Um, the deputy commissioner had spoken about uh, the culture um, where uh, in the Philippines, unfortunately, life insurance has a, has a bit of a stigma. Uh, he had spoken also about accessibility being a challenge and, um, and the reliability of insurance, of insurance companies in terms of claims payments. What we say from, from Allianz is that we are mindful of, of these challenges. And this is part of what we within the industry are, are really pushing towards, um, uh, towards fixing and, and resolving 
that 2% insurance penetration rate is indeed um, very low for a country like ours, where the economy and the industry is extremely robust. Uh, the Alliance Group uh, comes up every year with a global wealth report. And in contrast, actually, to um, global numbers where it roughly um, uh, places at around 2% in terms of gross financial assets growth, the Philippines actually um, reported a 10.4 increase in, in gross financial assets. What this means is that there is most certainly that increase in affordability. Um, and what we're seeing also uh, in the Philippines, what we've done is we've um, worked with uh, research firms. Uh, we did two in particular in 2022. Um, uh, and what we did was to analyze and understand the awareness of, of the public, and especially because of, of um, the pandemic, uh, the awareness for the importance of protection and health has most certainly increased. But back to the point about the economy, um, the Philippines actually has uh, among the highest economic growth rates. Uh, these are, as reports will, will, will state, due to the, the opening or the reopening of the economy. Uh, there is most certainly increased domestic consumption, um, even within cycling, for instance, um, bikes being purchased, um, restaurants uh, popping up in places where you wouldn't expect uh, but that this consumption is driving most certainly uh, economic growth. And of course, there is, as the Deputy Commissioner had mentioned, uh, the Build, Build, Build program, which has led to increased investments in infrastructure, which is, of course, contributing uh, towards economic growth as well. Uh, the numbers uh, are fairly straightforward. Uh, the growth uh, last year was around 6%. And as of the second quarter, 7.4%. Um, rivaling or, in fact, beating uh, most regional players uh, within the Asia-Pacific region. With a forecast of 6.5 um, versus, again, the average of 5, uh, we remain very bullish about our, our Philippine economy. Now, what of the industry? Uh, yes, indeed, as of um, the second quarter results, there was a slight decline in gross return premium, uh, but this rebound in terms of uh, NDAPE or new business annualized premium equivalent is a positive development in terms of how the industry is um, recovering from the effects of the pandemic. And what most certainly has helped is uh, what the commissioner, uh, deputy commissioner had mentioned, um, the, uh, the ability for financial advisors or life changers, as we call them at Allianz PNB Life, to conduct sales in a digital uh, fashion and to do this um, within the safety of, of their home offices, for example, has most certainly helped. And um, it, was, uh, it was very important uh, for these initiatives to be introduced in order to bring about this rebound in the industry. Now, the topic really is about this, um, and that is bridging the insurance gap. I share often, and I do date myself, uh, I graduated in 1998. And, and back then, when it was President Fidel Valdez Ramos who was pushing for um, an insurance vision, the target was, as I recall, 20% uh, insurance penetration by 2020. We are two years past that number, and unfortunately, we still are at 2%. Uh, the first point I really would like to share with, with your audience is that this requires all hands on deck. Um, I'm privileged and, and pleased to be here with Pro Life UK. Um, I have been in, in various forums with other insurance companies and colleagues from within the industry. And what this really requires is a concerted effort in terms of all of us putting together um, uh, good ideas in terms of new product development, um, uh, addressing also what the Deputy Commissioner had spoken to in terms of accessibility, especially as he highlights that we are a country that does not necessarily lend itself to ease of purchase. The second point is the enhancement of financial literacy training. Um, one of our key sustainability initiatives is what we reference in Allianz BNB Life as Gagapai. Uh, it's a beautiful program where we've reached out to um, the very um, 
the, the very far flung places in the country. Um, recently, I was in Negros and prior to that, Pangasinan, and we're looking forward to going to different far flung country, uh, places in the country and, and speak to, to, um, groups of people or, um, communities perhaps that are not actually, um, able to, to make sense of financial uh, awareness. And I can tell you from experience that it, it just comes, um, comes through as a very important need. Um, Kagapa is a program that we believe is, um, is of extreme value. And, and we look forward to reaching out to more communities with the help of local government units. The third is really product awareness. And, and how do we, uh, as an industry, make sure that our solutions are, are known. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we have invested in, um, in research uh, within the last couple of years. And as I mentioned, there is most certainly that increased awareness for the importance of, of insurance, um, especially when it comes to health protection. Uh, regretfully, as also the, the research will show, um, people are unaware of where to start. Or when, for example, they have a financial advisor in front of them, they're very hesitant uh, to make decisions because ultimately they feel that it is a lot of jargon. It is very difficult to understand. And so into that, what the deputy commissioner had raised in terms of um, that suspicion that uh, the reliability of claims payment will be an issue um, then increases uh, that, that concern. Um, so from our end at Allianz BNB Life, it's important for us to increase um, the expertise of our financial advisors and our life changers. And we do this by way of making sure that they always look at what our customers need. It has to start from that uh, as opposed to product pushing or um, creating a product and then saying uh, we will sell this to as many people. It's extremely important that when we do product awareness campaigns, we start always with what the customer needs. On the fourth, and this speaks um, directly to what the deputy commissioner had spoken to, the accessibility to solutions and experts, um, a big um, push within the industry and something that against uh, PNB Life is most certainly a big part of is digitalization. Um, I have, uh, I've shared with, with uh, the panel in the beginning that I have you know, lived in Canada for, for quite a while now, but coming back to the Philippines and seeing that improvement, enhancements to digitalization, access to mobile devices, and uh, actually quite high literacy rates in terms of helping oneself. In Allianz, we call it um, going from push to pull, where customers help themselves and access um insurance products uh, by way of the solutions that we have through our uh, through our digital channels. Last but not least, and this is where I bring it back to the point about sustainability, there is a hunger for, um, uh, for the importance of seeing the purpose of insurance. Um, and a key component of this for us at Allianz BNB Life is the story of sustainability. I will be frank, um, I didn't know much about sustainability in the past. I was, of course, as the chief marketing officer, very much involved with group initiatives. But having been given that responsibility of pushing the sustainability story and advocacies within the company has really helped me broaden my horizons and uh, appreciate that the Filipino public is looking for the connection in terms of what then? Um, insurance therefore what and what is the importance of this and how do insurance companies contribute in our small way uh, as uh, an organization that is um, considered to be the most sustainable insurance company in the world we do that in the philippines and as i presented previously we will uh, continue to invest in, in similar advocacies i'll leave it there i know there is going to be a forum later where uh, interesting questions, I'm certain, will be asked about um, some of these details that I presented. Uh, but I uh, bring it back to you, um, Conrad, and the four in the meantime.